Got a busy morning in the shop. Uh, Buds loves to work on Jeeps, doing a Gladiator level kit, wheel and tire, right, Bud? Level yeah, kit, wheel and tire. Get out. Fuel coupler. Is it getting a ridge grappler? Ridge grappler. Ridge grappler. 20. Install on this covert gladiator, which is just a level kit with an entire swap. Uh, it's, a, it's a spacer, they star spacer goes on top of your spring, gives it that nice leveled out stance, and it really enables you to have a lot of good clearance options when uh, picking out a, a bigger size tire and different offset on your rim. Hey guys, this is the same location that we took our. Firecracker Red Rubicon Gladiator the other day on 38s in that four inch lift kit. Here we have a Gladiator Overland, bright white, looking great with 35s uh, with just a level kit. So showing you guys, you can do just some minor upgrades to get that look you're looking for, but also in increase the capability overall. So pretty steep. This is about a four foot incline, again, uh, from bottom to top. And you got no issues whatsoever uh, as far as flexing, rubbing, scrubbing, etc., and uh, we've got a pretty aggressive offset on this wheel at negative 12. No issue, good aggressive stance. There's no doubt that the Jeep Gladiator is a great success, highly popular among the Jeep connoisseurs as well as truck enthusiasts. Now they have a vehicle that can handle the, taking out the trash or hauling something from Home Depot, but also can give you some capability off-road, look great, and be that true, tried and true Jeep Mopar heritage. So a level kit, as I was saying, uh, just gets you sitting nice and level. You can actually run a 35 on the right uh, wheel and tire combo with nothing done to this vehicle at all, but a level kit really gives you some capability. Uh, definitely just looks better as far as the overall stance. Has you sitting nice and pretty and level. And uh, we're on a fuel coupler wheel 20 by 10 on 35, 12 and a half wide, 20 Nitto Ridge Grappler. We're negative 12 offset, so pretty aggressive on that stance. Nothing crazy, but uh, definitely in that uh, medium range of the mild to wild scale that we have. And like I said, we've got it pulled up on our little testing grounds. We've got different rock mounds we can flex to see what the capability is. And that four inch or four foot incline there was no problem at all. Uh, for this vehicle with a level kit and 35s. You gotta love that. Let me know what you think about this one. Uh, wheel looks great. Typically this wheel is offered in like a satin gray, dark tint, or even a matte black, but this gloss black really makes it pop. Really do like that. You know we gotta do real deals. Love right here, checking that offset out in the rear view mirror. Negative 12 on 35, 12 and a half wide, 20 ridge grapplers, 20 by 10 wide, negative 12 offset. So you get that nice wider wheel and a good aggressive stance. Just looking great. That's a scene I truly love. And with the Overland package here on this Gladiator, you get some nice body color fenders there, front grill, uh, definitely some huge amenities on the inside that really give you uh, some nice comfort levels. Love the new design touchscreen. Nice embossed lettering there. Heated seats and more. Head cover for Mopar. Just a nice little overall covert edition right here at Aches and Wild Willies. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Hit that like and subscribe button. Stay in touch with us. We'd love to give you guys anything auto, help you make good decisions about spending your money wisely, getting your vehicle customized. I'm Neil Shepard. Thanks so much.